Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today we will be going to the amazing Brentwood and visit the Tables Food Court. We're gonna check out the new foods that they have. This will be a two-part video series. Come on, let's go. So what's the food? Yeah. What are we trying out today? Uh, I can try sushi. There's pizza. I can try Mediterranean food. Yeah, we got Mediterranean. Oh, this is Mediterranean. Uh, we have Chinese noodles. Mm -hmm. Looks like they have some kind of sushi rolls. A buri sushi, which is a type of flame seared sushi. This is a nice place. They serve Japanese fried food. It's a tonkatsu chain from Japan. We're here at Saboten Express. This is a Sabo 10 set. It's got tenderloin, loin, and a big piece of shrimp. I may get this one. This one looks appealing to me. Shrimp katsu curry. It's got two gigantic shrimp on it. Check this out. Looks like it's fried well. Beautiful golden brown color. This one comes with two huge pieces of fried shrimp tempura along with thick Japanese curry. This one has free miso soup. And this one is looks like jalapenos. Let's try this out. Dip it into the thick Japanese curry. Look how thick that sauce is. Curry's piping hot. You can see the steam coming out of that. Just like any curry, you have to eat it with rice. That's the way to go. All the sauce sticking to every piece of rice. Mmm, that's delicious curry. This is Yugo Roll and Bowl. Okay, let's look at the Aburi Ashi Sushi. 
is the flame seared rectangular shaped sushi tiger prawn hamachi avocado tuna salmon and wagyu they also have sushi rice bowls if that's what you prefer This is the salmon ikura bowl. It's got slices of salmon sashimi, sliced avocado, and ikura, which is a salmon roll. We got the salmon sashimi. It's pretty thin though. It's my complaint about this. We got avocado. Is it in the center? And we have big balls of ikura. The price of this bowl is $16 at the time of this video. I think the amount of salmon is too little. The slices are cut too thin to justify the price. I recommend getting the flame seared sushi or the sushi rolls.
from here at Jaffa Dog. Uh, last time I wanted to try it, but it was closed. So today I'll get a chance to try some hot dogs. Ice cream here too. It looks delicious. Oh, look at that mayo. Some seaweed. Okay, here we go. We've got the curry style beef with the rice. And this is from Bubble Waffle Cafe. A lemon iced tea. It's very refreshing. And then regular Hong Kong style curry with the bright yellow sauce. It's very disappointing. They said it wasn't available, but it was on the menu anyways for some reason. Let's have a bite of this. Yummy curry. Got some fried potatoes. Got thin sliced beef. I probably prefer the beef brisket instead. Let's see how this goes. The flavor is quite deep. It's a little bit salty. You gotta mix this with some rice for sure. To cut down the saltiness. Let me throw this on the batter rice. Got plenty of deep fish. This portion is good. Let's try to scoop some rice with this. It does have a bit of flavor of the Cantonese style curry. I still think they made it too salty. Just wash it down with iced tea. Potatoes are fairly good. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside.
Well, pretty much finished the dish. We have a hot dog from Japa Dog. This is a Wagyu beef. It's supposed to be a Wagyu beef hot dog patty. Check this out. Got seaweed, mayo, teriyaki sauce. Smothered all over. Tastes like a regular hot dog. It's got the sweetness of the onions. Teriyaki sauce not overly strong. The bun is toasted nicely. New drink here. Honey dill milk tea. Sounds good. A tropical trio. Reef escape, mango tango, lava lava. Oh, wow, they have a secret menu. Honeydew milk tea, supposed to be the flavor of the month from Cha Time.
If you crave pizza, this is the place to go. Pizza tastes fantastic. I recommend this place for you. This is a pretty good drink. Uses fresh strawberries as the ingredient. You can taste the chamomile tea, which makes you relaxing and this feels more refreshing. This place is a hit and miss. The meat today was cooked very dry and the steak is overcooked. It was hard to eat it. I recommend getting the ground beef or grilled chicken when you try this place. The rice is quite nice, it's fluffy and not dry, and goes well with the meat. That's it for the first part of the series from the amazing Brentwood. Stay tuned for the second part where I visit the new restaurants, which will be opened in the near future. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe to my channel for more food adventures. I'll see you next time.